Hello my friends, how you doing? Welcome to Lesson 9. We're going to be focusing on randomness. Now we've already been exploring this, so this is probably one of these lessons that's actually it's just bringing to light some of the things we've already been using. Um, yeah, maybe it could have been used before. Um, so this is going to be a quick, short, easy one, and you're going to be looking at, hopefully, if you've done the other lessons, going, oh, yeah, like, we've already been doing that. And I just want you just to be aware of specifically um, just some of the, the more intricacies of the things that we've been doing between Scratch and Python as we've been using some things, but um, the idea being that let's just be intentional at making sure that we're, we're exploring it. So we're just going to be looking at the concept of random, a very simple thing. In this case, just, just picking a random number. Um, in Scratch, it is quite simple. Scratch actually has a pick random block that can be used to pick um, a random number between two values. You could add variables in here. There's lots of things that you can do as you've already be begun to see in Scratch where we could drag in additional things within these, these little options here where the one and the 10 are. Um, you know, if you think about this, this is good about um, like, like, like a rolling die in a game. Um, when you wanna mix up the sprites costumes, you can change how your characters look. There's just lots of things that we can do with the random block. Um, so you just got to choose the start and end and then let it work. And then because this block is green, it's found in the operator section. Um, when we take a look in Python, we've already been using this, but we're going to import a module. And when we get to the coding in, in Python, I'm actually going to spend some time in this lesson explaining modules. We're going to use the random module. And I've just given you a hyperlink because within this random module, there are so many options that you can start to write code to get the random um, specific event that you would like. In our case, we just want to pick a random number, so it's not too hard. We're just going to use a random integer one, but just realize that there's a whole plethora of things that you can do within this random module. So let's dive into um, the work here. So here we are in Scratch, um, and what I'm actually going to do, um, let's do this. I'm just going to upload, actually I don't want to upload a sprite. I lied. We're just going to, let's just get uh, two more sprites out here. Uh, a ladybug will be good, um, and a building. Okay, that is random. All right, so we're just going to take a look at creating a random number. Nothing to too crazy here and so let's just go and I'm going to do the spacebar click again just so that we have it and where you can see here we've we've got more than one sprite now in scratch so I'm actually writing code for the the cat um, just so that you're aware of that and in the operators that's where we found the random block right here and so all we're going to have this guy do here we're just going to have him say hello but in opposed to hello we're going to pick random okay and we're just going to do numbers right now. Let's just do one through um, 100 here. And so when we hit the, the space bar, we go run this. The cat should say a number between 1 and 100. There you go. Kind of picking through that. All right. Pretty straightforward. Uh, but let's just so, so you're aware that we can actually do um, other numbers as well. So let's just keep this, uh, let's do this one here, uh, 0 to 100. It's going to be consistent with the Python code that we're going to be doing. But we could also do all negative. So um, I'm just going to take this code. I'm actually just going to drag it over here to my ladybug. So check this out. Now my ladybug has this same exact code. And we can just make this negative uh, 100 to negative 1. And then I'm going to drag this over here to our tower. And just so you can see the different values. Um, I just want you to be able to see that we can actually create a range that's all positive, all negative, or a combination. So now when I hit the space bar, all three should give us uh, some statements here. There you go. So you can see 48, negative 20, and we just keep hitting the space bar. It's going to keep randomly picking numbers. Pretty straightforward, right? So um, I just wanted you to be aware of that. It's really easy in Scratch, and you can, like I said, you can add different variables and different things in here that you would like. So when we dive over here to Python, let me open up a new file here. In Python, um, one of the first things we have to do is we have to import the random module. Um, and so just 
we've done this now several times, and so I just want to spend just 20 seconds on these libraries. And so we know that writing new code takes time, and so it's, it's helpful to be able to use bits of program that have already been created. And so these small little snippets of code um, are these things called libraries, and they're in packages. That And this is what we're doing. We're importing these libraries, these these, and within there, there's modules that we can run. And so Python comes with a, a standard library that has code ready for us to use. And then we can use these sections, these modules, to make the Python even more powerful um, than what it is. And so before we can just access it, we have to tell Python, we have to tell the computer um, exactly what it is that we want to use. And so this allows our programs to be more powerful, but they're not mind readers. And so what we have here, if you look at this this first block, and we've used this now for the last couple of lessons, this import random, um, what this is doing is it's going to allow us to import these modules. And, and this requires us to type the module um, at the start of the code. You always do it at the beginning. Um, and it just makes it easier to read because you can you can access this. And so if you've done other things with Pygame or other things like this, or in the future lessons we're going to use these quite a bit, um, it's going to make your life um, much, much easier and, and your programs more robust. And so as we start to think about this, we can start to um, bring in all right, different types of, of functions um, to this. And so in this particular case, we're going to be bringing in a function called random integer, uh, which is then going to allow our code to be more efficient. We don't need the whole entire module of random. We just need one small function of this whole entire kind of kitten caboodle. And so as we think about that, um, in terms of creating these, these random numbers, um, that's exactly what it is we're going to do. And so um, what's going to happen is I'm going to do the same exact thing we just did in Scratch. So we've imported the random module. Okay, we've got that already. Okay, imported the random module. Okay, I just want you to be aware, and there's more than random. I think that's all we've used so far is the random, but just be aware that uh, there's there's many many more out there for us to use. All right, and so now what we want to do is um, let's generate a number in uh, the positive. Okay, so um, what's going to happen here then is we're going to just create um, a variable. All right, I'm just going to call it positive equals and so what we're doing here then is a random integer we're pulling out just that one small section from this module um, that we need all right and just like we did in scratch I think we did 0 to 100 so it's going to pick randomly one of those and we're just going to print it okay well, let's just print um, what this is and so the random positive number is. And we're going to go comma and then we're just going to type in the value or the variable positive. All right. And I think if we run that, let's see if we got this correct here. We're going to call this uh, less than nine random numbers. Let's see. You think we got it right? You think it, there it is random positive number is 11 and we could run this over and over um, and we would be good there as well so if I call this one negative all right and we go random dot random integer and we go negative 100 to negative 1 all right and we print this again okay the random negative number is and we'll change this to the negative variable all right we should now have two options we should print us a positive number and a negative just so you can see that there you go and i know that you know this i just want you to be aware because there are times in certain codes that you know we may or may not be able to um, get everything that we need so it's just important so if we do one more here just to keep with the flow of the scratch program we're going to go random integer, let's go negative 50, 50, and then um, I'm just going to print the random, let's just call it, we'll just call it mixed, is 
mixed. And now we should have three numbers here. So this is just helping you kind of see, make sure you explore that we can, the idea of randomness, we can do so much with it. I just wanted to, to specifically call that out because I think it's helpful um, that we have those. This is helpful when we think about game design, like we said, rolling of the dice, or if we go back to um, our deck of cards, randomly selecting a deck from a list, things like that. I just wanted to be intentional that we actually take a look at um, the randomness. And so this here is quite similar to what we just did here in Scratch. This code here is just layered, in this case, layered between our three sprites. So um, just something for you to think about. All right, my friends. Until next time.